Hey guys, this is a tutorial that people have been asking for for quite a while and have been meaning to cover it. So this is going to be about ray casting and ray casting is used when um, primarily you want to, you know, either find a distance of, so uh, of something or when something is within a certain distance you can do something with that. So obviously with picking up an item you could do this or maybe opening a door, something like that or pressing a button. Now I'm going to show you a simple um, example and this is going to be about picking up an item or just collecting or just destroying a box now it works in all concepts and you know it works for opening the door you just have to change the code slightly so you can make an animation play once you've you know pressed the button that you need to press so in my scene I've got a first person controller and the first person controller is just as it would normally I've got a box and it's named pickup object and it's got a tag called pickup now if you need to add a new tag you can add a new tag here and then just to tag it what we need to because we're going to reference this in the script now you have to make sure that the box has got a collider and sometimes with ray casting in the um, way that I'm going to do it is forward ray casting so you need to make sure it has a big enough collider so you can actually see it because if it's really tiny on the floor it sometimes might have you might have um, troubles picking it up so what we'll start off by doing is creating a new JavaScript and then we'll call this raycast then what we'll do open it up in mono develop and then I'll delete the first two functions that we've got and I'll write variable test object as type game object so this is going to be our box that we're going to want to collect and then we're going to write a private variable called can hover set it colon boolean equal to false then we're going to write by actually start by actually writing the um, raycast itself so we're going to write function update add two quotes then two curly brackets below and then what we're going to say is variable forward equals transform dot transform direction open brackets vector three dot forward close that up and a semicolon then we're going to say variable hit as type ray cast with the cast with a lowercase hit and with a semicolon and now we're going to start writing the next part and if I say if physics dot raycast open brackets transform dot position oh, comma forward comma hit close the two brackets then we'll add a curly bracket there and say that if hit dot distance is less than or equal to and the distance at which we're going to have so we'll just say five you can change this to however you want then we'll say and and hit dot collider dot game object dot tag is equal to pick up or whatever you've actually named um, your item with the tag we'll add two curly brackets below there and say can hover is equal to true then we'll say if input dot get key down open brackets quotes and we'll say e for picking up we'll close those two brackets then inside there we'll then say destroy open brackets test object so the original variable we made put a semicolon now obviously when you do this you can do whatever you want so you could maybe load a new scene or add something to somebody's infantry something like that but I'm just leaving that open so that you can you know write anything you want then we can write else can hover is equal to false so that just means that um, that we won't be able to see the GUI when we write it and what you want to do is just add um, two more curly brackets in there so we close off um, what we had up there and up there and then below here we'll say function on GUI add two curly brackets below and say if can hover is equal to 
true. Then we'll say gui dot box open brackets rect open brackets screen dot width divided by two minus one hundred comma screen dot height divided by two minus one hundred then comma one hundred and fifty comma twenty close that up add a comma and write in quotes pick me up or whatever you want to display in the GUI and obviously this screen dot width divided by 2 minus 100 sort of sets it toward the center of the screen and 150 is the width of the box and 20 is the height so what we'll do is save this out and then go back to the unity scene and I'll add the script to the first person controller and we'll need to add the object that we're using so if I add the object to here, once it's on here we'll run the game and we'll look towards the object and you can see that it lets you pick it up and if we look away um, you can't see the GUI anymore now we can look at the object and we're not in within the distance that we require now as long as we go close we can um, come away and we go away again you know we can't see it so this is using raycasting and if I press E we'll obviously delete you know destroy the object pick it up whatever you want to do and you know you can train change uh, parameters however you like now that's the basis of doing a forward raycast you know you can do them in slightly different ways but that's what you can use you know to for as I said for a door for a pickup for anything so thanks again and if you like the tutorials don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers